The second district is one of those rare split districts. The Senate representative, Chris Brown, is a Republican, while the Assembly representatives are both Democrats. Brown is retiring from the state Senate this year. Democratic Assemblyman Vince Mazio is running for the seat unopposed, leaving most of the interest for the Republican primary. Former Assemblyman Vince Polistina, back on the ballot after a 10-year layoff, faces attorney Seth Grossman, who gave Jeff Van Drew a run for his money in the 2018 congressional race, despite some controversies regarding his comments on race and other issues. If the Republicans didn't stab me in the back, I would have been in Congress. Uh, but now, you know, it's like Groundhog Day. We're doing it over again. And I'm hoping that the Republicans won't be as cowardly and stupid this time as they were three years ago in repeating the Democrat lies. That's some classic Seth Grossman, caustic where Polistina is more measured by comparison. Certainly there are statements that I would never make that have been made in the past, uh, and I do not agree with them and condemn them. Uh, things that were done, certainly same way, but the only thing I can do is try to communicate to the voters of District 2 what I think is best, and that's what we're trying to do. This district is slightly more Democratic, but its voters are mostly unaffiliated. They elected Jeff Van Drew to Congress as a Democrat and then re-elected him as a Republican two years later. In the Republican primary this year, though, voters could be looking for someone like Grossman, who's a deeper shade of red. A primary election seems to be his uh, bailiwick. It seems to be where he can um, uh, you know, play to have some of his strengths and some of those enthusiasms of Republican primary voters. Smaller turnout, you can have a greater impact. When you get into the um, much larger turnout of a general election, you would expect Grossman to struggle. Mazio has gotten some flack for supporting the Atlantic City takeover five years ago. Today, he's pushing to extend the takeover and finds himself on the defensive for supporting a new pilot plan that's payments in lieu of taxes for casinos, which opponents say shortchanges local taxpayers. I think maybe we have to take a, a pause on that and look forward in doing something that's substance that, that makes sure that the taxpayers of the city of Lang City and, and the county get treated right, whatever the new bill is going to be. That's for November's debates, though. Right now, this is primary season, and most eyes are on the Republican side, where voters have a choice between this. Are you a Republican who believes that President Biden was elected fairly and squarely? I do think that uh, at the end of the day, uh, there were enough investigations that we can say that the election was fair. And this. Why is any of that relevant? Like I said, I'm a, I'm a fact. Well, it's relevant to, to voters who want to know where you stand on a, a, an issue that caused a near insurrection in January. You mean the insurrection that took place when stores were looted in Atlantic City? No, was, I'm talking about the insurrection that took place uh, when people stormed the Capitol. Oh, 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 when they walked into the Capitol and they took selfies of themselves. And, yeah, okay. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.